Hello again. My name is Harvey Molino, and uh, if this is the first time you're joining us, uh, what I'm doing is going through some sample, um, uh, sample uh, discussions on what you might expect to see if you attended a John M. Campbell G4 gas conditioning and processing course. Uh, this week, we're going to talk about the calculation of system energy changes. This happens to be chapter 8 in the Campbell text and during this chapter what we talk about is uh, uh, that you, at the end of this chapter you will be able to calculate enthalpy changes of a system. Uh, you will understand what enthalpy means. You will be able to justify your evaluation of a hydrocarbon dew point control system there are many, many different ways to evaluate a hydrocarbon dew point control system. And when you attend one of the classes, uh, which you will end up working in groups, you will see that all the groups usually do different approaches. And each group ultimately has to justify the approach that they have used to uh, evaluate a hydrocarbon dew point control system. And finally, at the end of this chapter, you will be able to describe the significance of the Cricondon therm to the dew point uh, control processing options. This is problem 8.9. It's a schematic of problem 8.9. If you have any uh, associates that have attended a Campbell G4 session, just mention problem 8.9 to them and I guarantee you they will smile. This particular problem works, it weaves its way throughout the entire two-week G4 session. We take the problem apart. I'm showing this to you to give you an example, uh, an, uh, an indication of what to expect. This is a uh, hydrocarbon dew point control unit. You take feed, which is uh, stream number one, you bring it into a warm separator where you separate the liquids from the vapor. In chapter five, you will understand and learn how to do a flash calculation. We take the vapor leaving the warm separator, which is stream two, we pass it through a gas-to-gas -gas exchanger where we cool down stream two to a lower temperature in stream five, that temperature, that uh, two-phase mix of stream five then goes through a chiller where we drop the temperature um, to a lower temperature. We end up in a cold separator where we will again separate the liquid from the vapor by undergoing a flash operation. We take the cold um, uh, vapor stream number four, cross exchange it with the feed, temp the, the feed gas stream number two, and stream number six is the sales gas that leaves the system and meets our hydrocarbon dew point specification. During the, uh, this particular uh, session in a G4 section, or, or uh, what you will be able to, what you will be asked to do is to determine the duty of the gas-to-gas -gas exchanger and to determine the duty of the chiller. Throughout the course, as we progress through the course, you will take the gas-to-gas -gas heat exchanger and you will actually figure out how much surface area is required and then you will also determine how much plot space is required for the gas the gas cooler. During the separation section you will learn how to size the cold separator and the warm separator. During the pump section you will learn how to size the pump to remove the liquids. During the compression section you will understand how to evaluate a compressor that will take the 
uh, dew point specification gas and compress it from the pressure that it's leaving the system, which happens to be 40 bar, up to pipeline transportation pressure, which is approximately 100 bar. So what we do in the G4 section or G4 course is take this problem and weave it through all the, uh, the modules for the two-week period. The problem as shown on this slide may appear to be pretty straightforward. What we will talk about when in class is exactly what we mean by a hot end approach. We will talk about the flow rate of 6.91 million standard cubic meters a day. Where is it? Is that stream one? Is that stream six? How do you know? We'll talk about the effects that characterization may have on the calculation of your gas to gas exchanger and on your chiller. Until next time, uh, when we will talk about separators, uh, I will see you at that time.